Hello my lollies, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lolly Popish, or you can just call me Pop. And in today's video, I'm going to be redrawing a drawing I made exactly one year ago. So I was scrolling through my gallery on iPixie Paint, and I questioned myself, what was the first drawing I drew last year? Because now it's 2024. So it was the first drawing I drew on 2023. And I found out it was this drawing of Dakota. I think a character sheet of her, and I really liked it. And I decided to make a video on redrawing a drawing I made exactly one year ago to see how much I have improved in the exactly one year. So for this drawing, I wanted to go all out, do a whole scene or scenario, or do a background, make a whole like little story and just a simple drawing. And so I knew that I wanted to do a lot for this drawing so that way I could impress myself and be happy with the improvement I've made. I'll talk more about the story of this drawing later, but now let's talk on Dakota's design. So I already knew for Dakota exactly when I meet her. I wanted her to be like a rogue, vigilante, policeman, military sort of girl. I wanted to, you to have that kind of esque when you look at her, you know, oh, she works for the government or something. But I didn't really know how to draw that. So I looked up a lot of references on Pinterest and I found a couple that I liked. So I just used those to hopefully gain the feeling of like the policeman sort of vibe that I was going for. So here I was doing the line art and the line art took me almost two hours to do because I don't know about you guys, but I really like like clean line art styles. And whenever my line art is just a bit messy, it just, I hate it and I don't like it. So here I was trying to make the line art really clean. I was also using a textured brush this time because in my previous drawing I did use a textured brush and I sort of wanted to use that on this drawing. I usually don't use a textured brush but I might start using it now because it's really good and I really like it. The only downside of it is that when I fill in the bucket sometimes it doesn't get like every nook and cranny and that just, that annoys me a lot. So now we're getting into the color. And I was sort of like 50-50 on the fence about the color because I sort of knew what I wanted to do for her. At the same time, I didn't. Like, there was just a lot of little details on there and I wasn't really sure what the color goes. But I knew that I wanted to do camo, sort of like cold blue themes and greens because that was sort of like her color palette. And then like a sort of like a warm brown on her eye. That's sort of what I wanted to do. And at first, I was going to hand draw the camo on her um, like I did last time in the previous drawing. You can see right there on the side. I actually did that by hand, and it turned out really well. But this time, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So I just recolored a camo print to, like, make it seem like, you know, I drew it. But I actually didn't. And this drawing just honestly took forever i made this drawing in one day so i believe it took me around eight hours i started around like 10 and ended at six o'clock i just really wanted to finish this drawing in time because i didn't like i didn't know what i wanted to do for the new year's video so i was like okay i gotta make this quick so i made it in one day and it like tore me out the amount of times this drawing crashed was crazy i think it crashed three times like, honestly, I was just, like, getting so frustrated with this drawing. I wanted to scrap it, but I'd spent so much time on it already, and I was like, no, I don't want to scrap it because it looks good. And I'm honestly really glad I didn't scrap it because the ending result, it has to be one of my favorite drawings so far. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the story of this drawing. So, basically, I don't really have her full background story yet, but I do have, like, Sort of like the basic ground idea. Basically, her parents had died in some sort of accident or something. And now she was left with her little sister and her. And because Dakota is only a minor, she was never really able to get a secure job that could pay them well enough to sustain both her and her little sister. So what she did was she went the vigilante route and um, started like killing people for money. You could argue she's an assassin. Um, if that's what you want to call it, but yeah. And so in this drawing here, she was like doing the duty. She was hiding behind a brick wall in an alleyway and somebody had murdered somebody. So that's where she was called in, 
you know to take care of that person and this is her like about to do it <laughs> even though this has to be one of my favorite drawings there are a few mistakes that i do see so just letting you know i don't think this drawing is perfect there are a few mistakes like you can see on her chest plate i tried to do like a bulletproof vest it didn't really work out and her arm on the side it kind of looks like weird and small and i wish i had fixed it but i'm glad i drew a hand anyway and so here's the final drawing there were a few things that i forgot to add so that's why some things just show up at the end because like i'm like oh wait i forgot that let me put it in real quick and so this was the first drawing of dakota i made on this tablet here was the second and then here was the third drawing and here is now dakota i have not fully gotten her design down yet her redesign should be somewhere in april and i hope you guys enjoyed this video happy new year and i'll see you guys next video bye my lollies